Hi, I'm Mohamed. I am a research engineer on the Brain team at Google Research. I'm Ruben, and I'm a research scientist on the same team at Google. In this episode of Research Bytes, you learn how our team developed Fenaki, a model that can generate realistic videos from sequences of text prompts. In this video, you learn about the challenges we tackled, the approach we chose, how we built Fenaki, what we observed, and finally, what we're looking forward to exploring next in our research. Let's get started. Video generating from text is particularly challenging for many reasons. First, it's computationally expensive. Training current state-of-the-art image generation models is already pushing computational capabilities to its limits. And this is significantly more challenging for videos. Second, high-quality text video datasets are limited supply, and they are substantially smaller than image text datasets. And third, working with variable video lens adds more complexity. A single short text prompt cannot completely describe a video unless you are trying to describe a very short clip. Instead, we need to use a sequence of prompts or, or a story to narrate what we would like to see happen in the video over time. In addition to all of these individual challenges, the biggest challenge is actually building a system that works with all of these limitations together. When we first embarked on this Moonshot project to create Fenaki, our initial goal was to generate a 5 second 128 by 128 video. But as we pursued this research, this goal changed drastically, with the field moving incredibly fast and our experiments in pushing the model to its limits, which turned out to be much farther away than we initially expected, we found ourselves serendipitously stumbling upon an entire new field of research in generating videos for stories. We're especially excited because, to the best of our knowledge, this is the first time research has been published on generating videos from such a time-variable open domain prompts. Let's take a look at what Fenaki generates from this story. The blue balloon is stuck in the branches of a redwood tree. Camera pans from tree with a single blue balloon to the zoo entrance. Camera pans to the zoo entrance. Camera moves very quickly into the zoo. First person view of flying inside the beautiful garden. The head of a giraffe emerges from the side. Giraffe walks towards the tree. Zoom into the giraffe's mouth. Giraffe gets close to a branch and picks a blue balloon. A single helium blue balloon with a white string is flying toward giraffe's head. Giraffe chewing with the blue balloon nearby. Camera tilting up following the single blue balloon flying away. With Fenaki, we tackle the challenges with computational costs and variable lengths by leveraging its two main components. The encoder-decoder transformer model, which compresses video with a tokenizer that can work with variable length videos thanks to its use of causal attention in time, and a mask language model, MLM, that translates text embeddings to video tokens, which are then detokenized to create the actual video. To address the issue of limited data, we leverage joint training on large corpus of image, text, and video text examples. With this, we saw improvements in generalization that were significantly beyond training with video-only datasets. So here is how Fenakai works. First, with the C-Pivot encoder, image and video patch embeddings are processed by a special transformer with all-to-all -all attention, and then a temporal transformer with causal attention to compute video tokens. Then a mask jit is trained to reconstruct mask tokens predicted by a frozen VC vivid encoder conditioned on the prompt's tokens. And finally, arbitrary long videos are generated by freezing previous tokens and generating future tokens in an autoregressive manner. Prompts can change on the fly for time variable prompts or a story conditional generation. We tested Fenaki on a variety of tasks. Text conditional video generation, text image conditional video generation, time variable text conditional video generation, story mode, video quantization, image conditional video generation, also known as video prediction. We were pleased to find Fenaki surprisingly consistent over time for a long time in comparison with existing text to video generation approaches. And we found that our video encoder decoder outperform all per frame baselines currently used in the literature on both spatial temporal quality and number of tokens per video. To showcase this capability, we initially wanted to generate half an hour per person driving a car or riding a bike. But that's when we realized that we could change prompts too. Doing so resulted in generating minutes of video based on a story rather than a single prompt only. The prompt can change and the video changes accordingly. Let's take a look at some interesting examples of videos that Fenaki generated. 
When generating this video, my goal was to transition between scenes that have a variety of visual relationships to each other. We started by generating a video of a calm beach and then asked Funakai to pan to the sky. This transition is clear, but then we drastically changed the prompt by asking the model to continue generating rates of light. One interesting aspect of Funakai is that it always tries to change the scene as smoothly as you can see here. Now comes an even harder test. We are going to zoom in and out of something completely unrelated and new, the eye of a boxing panda. Again, Finakai creates a clean and a smooth transition. We ask the model to continue to zoom out, out to a city and then to a Hawaiian island. At the end, we ask the model to generate rays of light again. This time though, there is more context than before. The final scene was a lovely view of an island. So the model generates something completely different this time. The light shines through like it's coming from the sun. Let's take a look at another interesting example. One thing that quickly jumps out of this video is how the astronaut's shape doesn't get lost in the light, even with the strong light changes. This is something that video generation models in such unconstrained setting usually fail at. They normally end up blurring things together until everything just disappears. This is especially interesting because the astronaut's body is not actually perfect to begin with. In spite of this, the model still keeps moving it. The random splash from a wave on the right is also mind-blowing. It would also be something that could result in video frames becoming distorted, but Fanaki is able to handle the splashing very well. What's interesting here is that Fanaki doesn't actually show the astronaut underwater as described in the prompts. Instead, it moves the camera underwater and shows the astronaut legs moving underwater. This is consistent with the fact that the astronaut wasn't completely underwater before, so Fanaki is respecting the context. The nebula transition, although it's not perfect, is still somewhat coherent with the water's appearance earlier. And finally, the transition to the astronaut jumping on a trampoline is just amazing. Keep in mind that the model tries to make this plausible by making the astronaut one, fall from the nebula scene, land on the trampoline, and finally continue moving by jumping on the trampoline. This requires the model to know what jumping on a trampoline looks like, and then just put an astronaut there with the nebula in the background. We are excited to see Fenakai unlock new capabilities in this entirely new field of research. And we think these capabilities can pave the way to real-world creative applications in art, design, and content creation. We still have some ways to go for this to become a commonly used tool, though. The current limitation of the model is that the user doesn't have much control over the video beyond the text prompts they write. And even then, the model sometimes ignores parts of these text prompts. The model also lacks memory beyond a few frames in the past, which may result in an object's appearance changing over time if it's not specified in subsequent prompts. As we explore future directions for this work, we look forward to tackling the challenges of giving the user more control over the video generation process, which we think would open up more opportunities for creative content creation. We are also looking forward to working on increasing video quality. Right now, visual fidelity for the generated videos is far lower than for generated images, so we think this can be improved. To learn more about this work, please check out the links in the descriptions below. If you found this video interesting, please share it. And don't forget to subscribe to the Google Research YouTube channel.